of all, you have to look at Islam from a very wide perspective in the sense that whatever Islam teaches or preaches then this is how you are able to judge this religion. You do not judge a religion by the actions of its followers. You judge a religion by what it teaches. And if you go into detail, you cannot help but loving this religion. وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِنَا فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ كَتَبَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةِ أَنَّهُ مَنْ عَمِلَ مِنْكُمْ سُوءًا بِجَهَالَةٍ ثُمَّ تَابَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَأَصْلَحْ just imagine what a Muslim says to a Muslim whenever they meet. They say, peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. So it is a religion of peace. Assalam, which is peace, is one of the attributes and names of Allah, our Lord, the creator of this universe. If you look in the teachings of the Prophet, may peace and blessing be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you'll find out that he himself portrayed peace in its best form. Examples. Now, these recent events, these events took place only like maximum 15 years ago. Before that, we had no encounter with violence or terrorism. Before that, we had excellent relations with the West. We had lots of Muslims studying in the in the States and in Europe, and we had lots of visitors and expats working in uh, the Muslim world. We had no problem at all. So, definitely it's something else other than the religion. Besides, we also, if you look at the West, we have lots of terrorist attacks from the Westerners mm -hmm. themselves. You have the uh, IRA, IRA in, uh, in uh, Northern, Northern Ireland, you have David Gorash in Waco, Texas, mm -hmm. with, with what he did with his, with his cult. You have uh, Timothy McVeigh, who was uh, executed because of the Oklahoma bombing. You have Goldstein, or whatever his name is, uh, who attacked uh, the mosque in Hebron, Hebron and, and, and killed over 25 worshippers, praying Muslims. And he was a soldier, and this, he was just a lunatic. Okay, then, all the terrorist attacks have been taking place are the results of Muslim lunatics, so to shake. So if, why uh, attach this to our religion? To be able to judge something, you have to define it. For example, what the Red Indians used to do when uh, the white man came into uh, America, was this terrorism? Would you ex expect this to be terrorism? You def def defend it. You're defending yourself. If someone comes into your house and attacks your wife, your kids, and wants to uh, uh, rob your house, would it be democratic to say, well, let's go to court? Or you got to shoot the guy between the eyes? So, Islam has spread the, um, by violence here or by, in a nice way, in a very peaceful way. No, I guess it's the opposite. While uh, chatting with any American guy, said, uh, what's your religion, for example? I said, I'm Muslim. Say, sword, triple dots, blood, buy. That's it. I try to get him back again. Say, I, I try to explain uh, how do is, uh, Islam is spread. We, we Muslims, we know that Islam was spread in a nice way, and our Prophet was the, the nicest guy ever, or the nicest man, I'm sorry, ever. And the perfect, uh, yeah. yes, the perfect. He's, uh, he was an example to be followed. But they have another idea about Muslims. They have uh, about Arabs in general. Whenever we speak about Arab, the, the desert, camels. I have a, a very uh, uh, thoroughbred the camel outside. And I brought him with me, <laughs> and it's his four wheel drive. Four -wheel drive. Well, <laughs> see, listen, the, the thing is that you have lots of comments of people that show their ignorance. Hmm. So whenever you chat on, uh, online with others and they say that you have this, you have that, the least they can do out of dignity is to read about and uh, research this religion. Now, you cannot say that Islam was not spread by the sword. But you cannot say that Islam was spread by the sword. 
it, it was both ways. So it's, it's not a religion of, of, of just, you know, preaching to people and they convert to Islam. There, there are enemies of Islam that you have to fight. There are aggressors that attack your country. You have to defend yourself. But if you look at uh, uh, Southeast Asia, for example, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, uh, uh, and so on, and the, the largest Muslim country worldwide is Indonesia mm -hmm. with over 200 plus million Muslims and not a single soldier went there. It's, it's all merchants, you know, people just saw the ethics, the, the, the values of Islam and they revert to Islam. So it wasn't spread by the sword, but the sword is an essential thing to defend yourself. There is no country worldwide that respects itself and does not have an army. And you, you, you look, look look around you, everybody is is going into arms and, and they're doing this and that to defend themselves. Essentially, it's very important that we acquire the proper knowledge to clarify our position. Now, knowledge is very important in the sense that Muslims by nature are emotional and if oppressed, Without the proper knowledge, they may do the wrong things. And knowledge of the Quran, knowledge of the Sunnah, is what guides us on the right path. And that is why we pray every single day and night. And we say in each, in each prayer that, O oh Allah, O oh, oh Lord, we seek that you guide us to the right path. So with the proper knowledge, you can differentiate between what's right and what's wrong. The best thing to defend Islam is to be a proper and good Muslim. Hmm. Your behavior, your conduct, the values that you uh, uh, show to people and by being a good Muslim, meaning that you are practicing what you're preaching, this is the best defense, the best uh, 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 thing that you can do to clarify the misconceptions that others have towards Islam. And by say, saying this, it's very important not to be on the defensive side. You know, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of scholars, a lot of, of, of preachers, always sitting on the defensive bench, you know, saying, no, 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 Islam is not like that. Islam, is, Islam is not like they what you They try to think. compromise. They try to, you know, go out of their way to be acceptable to the other. And this is not acceptable in Islam. I am proud to say this is Islam, love it or leave it. I'm not going to go out of my way for you to accept Islam. This is not my religion. This is the religion of the creator of the, uh, the universe. So if you want to have it as it is, you're quite welcome. If you don't, I'm not going to go out of my way, bend uh, 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 verses or, or, or rules, rulings of Islam just to be acceptable. For you. A guy like me and you, we live our daily lives as good Muslims. We pray in the mosque, in the masjid, in the mosques. We, whenever we meet people, we're honest with them. We don't backbite, we don't cheat, we don't steal, we don't fornicate, we don't uh, uh, drink intoxicants. We are very kind to our parents, our next of kin. We are very, very kind to our neighbors, though we don't like them, we hate their guts. But Islam tells me you have to be kind to them. You have to feed them if they're hungry. We're very kind to the orphans. We've, we're kind to the non-Muslims that we meet. All of this you find in the teachings of the Prophet ﷺ. So this is on the individual basis. We should have more media coverage. We, have, we should have more interviews. We should be exposed to the media in the sense that this is our religion. This is our country. This is Look us. at us. Oh, my God.